The Cape Town taxi strike has entered a fifth day and that's after talks between South Africa's National Taxi Council as well as the city of Cape Town and of course the Western Cape government broke down this Sunday. Well, let's now delve further into how it's impacting uh, the region's uh, econ economy. We're joined now by John Schooling. He is a CEO at a Stag Africa, and he joins us uh, in Cape Town. Great to have you with us, uh, Mr. Schooling. Now, of course, uh, we have to start off with the fact that it has been quite a tough year uh, for South Africa. Uh, and given that we know Cape Town's uh, importance to the country's economy in terms of tourism and other major businesses, Give us a sense of how much of an impact this is having on the major hub. Uh, it's, been, it's been quite a dramatic um, impact. Um, our airport, for example, has been shut down. The A2 freeway has been shut down today. And um, various other routes into town have been shut down. A lot of people couldn't get to work. Uh, we've noticed that most of the restaurants are on at best half staff. A lot of them are only working at 25% staff. And a lot of them haven't been able to operate at all today. So that's restaurants, for example. And a lot of other businesses are finding it extremely difficult. Um, yes, it's been quite a dramatic effect and impact on, on the greater economy of Cape Town. Definitely having an impact on our tourism. Our tourists, I happened to pop into the waterfront today and I noticed that there were a lot of tourists floating around. But most of the shops had maybe one, maybe two people working where usually they'd have four or five. So yes, it has had a major impact on our economy. Mm. And of course, it couldn't come at a worse time because we know South Africa is set to host, host uh, the BRICS summit in about two weeks' time. Uh, is there any concern about this tainting the country's image before that major event? I, I do think that it does have an effect on tainting the entire economy and the entire country, in actual fact. You know, every time South Africa takes one step forward, I... Um, been the host of the BRICS Summit, which is an incredibly important uh, alliance that we belong to. Anything that is going to affect that negatively is going to affect the, you know, our image, not only to our fellow BRICS um, partners, but also to the broader community of the world, basically, that's looking at South Africa to see how effective we're going to be in running this BRICS Summit. Yes, so I do think it's going to have a big effect on that. Hmm. Well, we're certainly watching that situation closely. Many thanks for your insights uh, there, Mr. Schuling. That, of course, is John uh, Schuling. He is the CEO at Stag Africa.